Bum ba dum Howdy, welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. This is your online home for learning how to play the mandolin, the banjo, uh, the guitar. Today I have a big lesson for you, especially if you're just learning how to play the mandolin. Okay, a lot of times uh, mandolin players are originally guitar players. So one thing they're familiar with is strumming and making chords, okay? Even if you're not a guitar player, this is where you need to start. If you are a guitar player, this will come extremely natural to you. We're gonna cover some stuff that really everybody should know. This is what we're gonna look at today. It's really two big lessons in one, and I've got um, all of this complete lesson over at BanjoBenClark.com if you're watching here on Facebook or YouTube. But I'm going to show you uh, three of our primary open chords. Okay, so the G chord, the C chord and the D chord. And then I'm gonna give you four different strum patterns for each one, okay? So we have kind of the boom chick and then we'll have some more syncopated patterns. But then, that's not enough, okay? I'll give you some exercises on how to do that, but then I wanna give you a song that you can put those to use in, okay? One that we're all familiar with. She'll be coming around the mountain. Um, when I'm done with you, maybe not today, but whenever you're done with this lesson, you're gonna be able to do um, essentially this. Did you see how first I played just the full melody, second time I added a little bit of rhythm in, and then the third time I added a lot more rhythm in and I chose from the different strum patterns that we're going to use, okay? So you really get uh, two bangs for your buck on this one. We're gonna learn how to play She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain in G. You're gonna learn some uh, open chords out of the key of G, and then we're gonna learn some different strum patterns and how to integrate those into while we're singing or as we're playing rhythm. Okay, let's check it out. 